Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Only My. Just gotta get started in. Hold on. 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Take 2. Oh, damn. It just happens. I mean, it's a sleepover. What you think gonna happen, baby? Allergy season so bad. <laughs> I mean, for now, until your sister gives you something to do. And usually that might happen. If it's not a sister, it's another family member, and it's super annoying. <laughs> I do that anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. I mean, that's just the same schedule for you, babe. You're boring, aren't you? What's up? Look who's here! <laughs> no! But yeah, I mean, now that they're here, you can't really kick them out. That's rude. It's 
supposed to be Mario Kart. <laughs> What's up? Hmm? <laughs> sure you did. Screw the neighbors. Well, I mean, you know, um, rules. I think that's what she means. <laughs> I mean, damn. She could have at least locked, knocked, uh, I can't speak, not first, but you know, that's our baby for you. No, I mean to be fine. Three is okay. Yeah, go ahead.
something. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and she's worn her hair like that ever since. That's so cute. Oh. You sure? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> No. Excuse me. Be like, oh my god, I feel violated. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, sleepy. When you've come home, like, almost several hours when you were originally supposed to come home, super sleepy. Just trying to stay awake. <laughs> yes. You could be on the opposite side. Y'all really gonna do rock, paper, scissors for Lord Jesus. I mean, I knew we already knew for the bath, but damn, for the bed too, for the damn futon.
That's gonna come back to buy her. I just know it. I mean, she came in like, shut the hell up. My God. <laughs> really just yourself though I mean how I remember out of my sleep I, I think we all do <laughs> this is more like scary story talk babe are you okay But I'm about to have big major nightmares. <laughs> no, don't hold it. Don't leave the window open. Did she hog your cover? Oh, hell nah. You're like, give me my blanket. Rip it off her. That's when you always, no matter what, like, have enough blankets for everybody. You be like, hey, do not hog my ish. ish. No, no. Don't cry. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it is your fault, babe. You know, you could sleep downstairs or in Honey's room. Hi, 
How you gonna get in there though? Damn! <laughs> Just let me sleep next to you. Go to bed. <laughs> Not you do buzzing in me, honey. It's for it's like revenge. <laughs> First, you know, shut the hell up. You'd be like, wait the hell up, I'm sleeping with you. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. You're taking it to the grave. Is what's her? Yeah, is Asahi still asleep? She's still asleep. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I get that. I'm not really a morning person either, especially on my on the days off that I have. But if you give me food or if you start talking, I eventually wake up. That poor girl. She just don't know that she fall asleep and she move in her sleep because we all do it. Straight up, because like, okay, on my bed, I have a queen size bed. I can lay on one side with my dog. Or, okay, th no, this is how it is. Okay, so the wall, you can't really see it, but normally it's in my videos, but the wall that is like over here to my, my I'm about to say right, to my left, I sleep on that side and my dog sleeps on the opposite side. So, 50 out of 50, my dog will get up in the middle of the night and move from one place to the other. Me, like, I might move around in my sleep. So, like, 50 out of 50, I might still be in the same area that I've slept in. But then I might also move all the way over on the side that my dog is sleeping on. Which is funny. But, <laughs> yes, we all move in our sleeps. Especially if you're someone who has had a bed by to themselves for a long behind time and then let's say you are sharing it with another person you you got that space it, it's just it's gone and i love having my big bed to myself even though i have to share a bed with a little dog and the dog sometimes takes a little bit too much space i love him to death that's my baby but still like it, it was worse with my other two dogs because Having two dogs in one bed with you is worse than one. <laughs> I, I mean, because, like, what it used to be like, so my two dogs, Yana and Kiana, Yana would always lay, like, around my boobs to my stomach for some weird reason. I don't know. She was weird. And sometimes she would lay um, around my upper back. My other dog... Kiana would lay near my lower back, my butt, or my legs. And I'm like, bruh. Now, mind you, like, ha imagine having two different dogs in two different places. You can't move. You got two dogs in two different places. So it's like, okay, imagine an S, right? Okay? Upper is here, lower is here. And if you were trying to move, you can't fucking move. Two dogs in your space. Hell no. Nah. That's too much. Too much, I ain't got no room to do anything. So sometimes what I used to do, and I saw, how I even do this with Cody. What I do is I literally pick Cody up. Like if he gets to a point where I need to move and he's in my way, I will pick him up, put him somewhere else, and then move. And he looks at me like, well, what the fuck you do that for? What is wrong with you? And I'm like, dog, I am tired. I need space. If this is mine right here, this is yours. This little teeny tiny, this bed, this queen size bed right here. I get about this much space with that little dog. A little dog. Not no big ass dog. Little teeny, teeny, tiny dog. Maltese Mjorky. Little teeny, tiny dog. Getting this big ass space. And then I get this. And, and he just looked at me like, oh, it's okay. You can fit. And I look at this dog like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, I'm about to beat the crap out of you. And like, mm-mm, we about to fight. 
You about to fight over this bed. Like, bruh. No. There is enough room for the both of us on here. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's probably gonna be worse with whoever the heck I marry. I'm gonna be looking at him like, mm. I'm be like, we need to set some crown rules, babe. <laughs> but honestly, the sleepover was a success. I'm glad they all had fun in their own special way. I love how Mihani was just like, yeah, let you know, let's go ahead and secretly plan this and surprise the shit out of him. <laughs> but yes, Mahani coming in. Mihari coming in and like literally opening the door saying like, hey yo, keep it down and such. <laughs> and then Mihari goes to sleep and then you know Mahiro comes in like, hey, we got a situation. I am going to go ahead and sleep in bed with you. You're okay with that, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember when you came in my room and we were making too much noise and you kind of told us to shut the hell up? Well, now I'm in here saying, wake the fuck up and move over, bitch. I am laying with you tonight. I am sleeping in your bed. And you better be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, guys, that's our reaction for you towards episode 8 of Onimai. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Excuse me, sorry. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys.